Hey there, so let's go over the giant list of signs of a toxic relationship or that you have a toxic person in your life. My name is Lise Colucci and I am here to help you understand, recover from, and transform your life after toxic relationships and narcissism in your life from other people. So let's get started and just get this list out there. Let me know if you've experienced any of this or if you have other things to add to the list. I'm sure there's a lot of other things that could be added to this list. You walk on eggshells. Need I say more? You disassociate as a survival tactic. So you spend your time kind of checked out and not really present in your body as a way to stay safe in your, in your emotional interactions with another person. You sacrifice your needs for your partner or the other person in your life or your mother or your father. You sacrifice your own self and you don't have boundaries in that place of, of self-sacrifice. You have pain, health, and other issues with your body that seem to worsen with the stress from being around that person. You mistrust others. You start to mistrust the world around you. You mistrust yourself. You self-isolate. You have a hard time being in social situations or around other people because you just can't take anymore or you just feel uncomfortable and socially like you just don't want to be around people. You blame yourself for what happened. You blame yourself for what is happening. You complain a lot to others about your relationships or you want to, or you're afraid to, so you don't and you hold a lot back. But in any case, you're not being your authentic self around people because you're always preoccupied with what's happening in the relationships in your life. You self-sabotage and self-destruct. You may sideline your healing like you know, answering to a Hoover or reaching out back to a toxic person. And that's a sign that you have been conditioned and groomed and are trauma bonded to that person. You fear positive things. You fear being successful or having success in your life or having friendships or having happiness because you're just waiting for the other shoe to drop. You might be protecting the toxic person in your life and making excuses for them and enabling the behavior through pretending it isn't happening or making excuses, like I said, so that you're kind of avoiding the situation of what's actually happening in your life. The relationship you're in or the parent that you have or whatever it is in your life lacks compassion, care, and empathy coming towards you. You deal with in this other person, whoever they are in your life, a very confusing childlike conflicted conflict style that makes no sense to you. You just want to get cut to the chase, get to the meat of it, deal with the problem, talk things through, take a breather, cool off, come back together and get along. They seem to need to twist everything around. They seem to need to gaslight you, make you disbelieve the reality that you know is true. They seem to want to project everything onto you. They seem to need to blame shift, twist realities and play the victim. You deal with a lot of angry and reactionary behavior from this other person, and you are provoked into a reactionary, angry stance when that is not your norm. You're always trying to prove your worth. You are trying to show how valuable you are, how much you're worth, because you've been devalued. You lack boundaries when you deal with these people. You lack boundaries in your life with other people. You feel anxiously addicted to your partner. There isn't safety and there isn't security and you're working on it on your end. But there doesn't seem to be offered the compassion and the empathy that allows you to feel safe and secure in a relationship. And so therefore the anxiety is continuing. They may do things to create the anxiety like not showing up when they're supposed to, not being where they're supposed to be, having large gaps of silence, not responding to your texts, texting with other people in front of you, but hiding it, going in other rooms to be on their phone, things that create anxiety and question in the relationship. You are exhausted, especially when you're around that person. You have a low self-esteem and maybe you didn't before, or maybe you always have, but now it's just at its worst. You kind of feel like you're going crazy a lot of the times, right? You feel like your reality isn't your reality and you don't even know what reality really is because you have been in situations where the gaslighting has been intense. You feel depressed and anxious even when things are going well. You're always feeling like nothing you do is good enough. You're, you're never praised or given any accolades for the things you do that are things you feel should deserve a little bit of understanding and, and thanks. You're not given the gratitude in your life and you are devalued on the other side of things for the smallest things. Or you're given gratitude and then devalued at the same time. You feel invisible. 
you feel like your whole life you're just this invisible person no one listens to in your relationship and no one cares about in the relationship and yet you're there to give to them and you're there to serve the relationship or that other person you always feel alone even in the relationship and i mean always you feel removed from the situation you struggle with and you have difficulty making decisions in your life like even the smallest decisions become really difficult to choose because you don't know what choice is anymore you've lost the ability to know what you want what you need and the confidence to say yes that's what i want and what i need and then the understanding that what you say is actually okay you feel like you feel like your emotions are invalid you feel like your feelings your hurt your anger your frustration your confusion your sadness all of it is invalid you've been told you're too sensitive you've been told that you always take things so personal you've been told it's not about you you've been told all kinds of things that invalidate the feelings that you're having and know that you know when that's happening that's a form of gaslighting and that is a form of dismissal so that the narcissistic person doesn't have to take accountability for anything that had any contribution to those feelings so that's just one big list that I'm throwing out there real quick. So you can just listen to it, add to it in the comments. Let me know what you think. You guys hit the thumbs up, hit subscribe. If you need coaching or group coaching, check it out in the main description of every video. I'm here if you need help. And let me know what videos you'd like to see on this channel so I can help you get the information that you need to help your life transform into what you want it to be after toxic relationships. I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.